So the eye is composed of three layers. The outer layer is the scleroid coat, this kind of bluish layer. As you come around the front, the scleroid coat is white. It makes the white eyeball of our eye. It needs to be clear, though, in order for us to see out of it. And so this clear part up here is the cornea. Behind the cornea, you have the aqueous humor or body, which is fluid. Then you have the iris, the colored part of your eye, which is attached to that next layer then. All of this red is the choroid coat, this thin layer here. And this portion of the choroid coat is the um, ciliary body, which is a muscle. The ciliary body is attached to the suspensory ligaments, which are attached to the lens. So when the ciliary body contracts, the suspensory ligaments tighten, changing the shape of the lens, and that's how we focus. Behind the lens, you have the vitreous body or vitreous humor, which is a gel-like blob, which gives the shape of the eyeball. And then the last layer is the retina, this orange layer here, where the rods and cones are. Coming in is the, the optic nerve. And so from the optic nerve, then, the retina spreads out. The very enter here, the enter point where the, the uh, nerve comes in is the blind spot. There are no rods or cones there. Then to the right of it, where is the direct line from your eye as you, when you look, this area is called the fovea centralis. This is where we have the most rods and cones. Okay, move over here. So this is just another cross section, scleroid coat, choroid coat, retina. This would be iris. This would be ciliary body. Pupil. The pupil here is right there.